Welcome to our lecture online. There are some additional products in algebra that will come up quite a bit, not as much as the first set, but enough so that it's a good idea to try to memorize what it's like to take something like a plus b and cube it. Basically, it's a binomial cubed. Hmm. Before we show you how to actually get that answer, we're going to show you the, the shortcut first. So what you do here is you take the first term and you cube it. Then you go plus three times, so the coefficient, numerical coefficient will be three, the first term squared, and the second term to the first power. Now we're not going to write that, but it's to the first power. And then we have another term, plus three, the first term to the first power, and the second term to the second power. And then finally, the last term cubed. So notice the pattern. You have an a cube, a to the second, a to the first, and basically a to the zero power, which is one. You have b to the zero power, which is one, b to the first power, b squared, b cubed. So we have a descending order on the first term and an ascending order on the second term, and the coefficients are one, three, three, and one. It's almost exactly the same for the second example, a minus b quantity cubed, except we have to alternate the signs. So it'll become a cubed, 3a squared b, 3ab squared, and b cubed. And now we simply have to alternate signs, positive, negative, positive, negative. So exactly the same, except that the signs are slightly different. And so if you remember that, that uh, approach to solving these kind of binomials cubed, it'll save you again a lot of time. Before we show you how that actually works, let's apply it to what we have over here. So x plus 4 quantity cubed, we take the first term and you cube it, plus 3 times the first term squared, the last term to the first power, plus 3 times, and I'm kind of running out of room, but we'll try it here, 3 times the first term to the first power, the second term squared, and then plus the, third term, the second term cubed. And if we then simplify that, this is then equal to x cubed plus 3 times 4, which is 12x squared, plus 16 times 3, which is 48x squared squared, oh, x to the first power, because we have descending order of the first term x, like so, and then finally, plus 4 cubed, which is plus 64. Notice how quickly you can get to the answer that way. Same over here, we have x cubed plus 3 times x squared times the second term to the first power, plus 3 times x to the first power times the second term squared, plus the last term cubed, so plus minus 3 cubed. And then when we go ahead and, uh, oh, hmm, that's not quite what I did over there, was it? No, I'm going to continue like this, okay? All right. All right, now when we simplify that, we get x cubed. We have minus 9x squared, here we have plus 27x, and here we have uh, a minus 27. Notice the signs then line up, it's plus, minus, plus, minus, just like what we expect when we have an x minus cube. Now let me show you why that works this way. So when we have a plus b quantity cubed, that's essentially equal to a plus b times a plus b times a plus b. And so what we're going to do first is we're going to multiply the first two together and leave the third one alone. So this becomes, again using arrows, a times a and a times b and b times a and b times b. Twice two terms, that means a total of four products. And so this will become a times a, which is a squared, plus a times b, which is a b, b times a, which is a b, and b times b, which is plus b squared. Of course, we already knew that because a plus b times a plus b will give us 
a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, which is what we have, and then we're going to multiply that times a plus b. Combining like terms, this is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, because essentially a plus b squared, which is a plus b times a plus b, is a squared plus b squared plus twice the product of the two terms, and then we multiply that times a plus b. Now we're going to use the technique again. Each term of the first polynomial will be multiplied by each term of the second polynomial. So a squared is going to be multiplied times a and times b. 2ab will be multiplied times a and b. And finally, b squared will be multiplied times a and times b. Notice six arrows and six multiplications. So this is equal to a squared times a, which is a cubed. And notice you're going to see that developing as we continue. a squared times b would, would be plus a squared b. Now we take 2ab times a would, would be 2 plus 2a squared b. 2ab times b would be plus 2ab squared. b squared times a would be plus ab squared. And b squared times b would be plus b cubed. Now when we add like terms, we get the following. We get a cubed, a squared b plus 2a squared b is plus 3a squared b. 2ab squared plus ab squared is plus 3ab squared, and finally plus b cubed. And notice we get the exact same result that we end up with over here. As you can see, you can bypass all that work by simply realizing it's going to be descending orders for the first term, a cubed, a squared, a, and a to the zero power, ascending orders for the second term, a, b zero, b to the first power, b squared, b cubed, and the coefficients are going to be one, three, three, and one. And so you can see how that works for that. The same thing will happen when you take a minus b quantity cubed, you'll end up with the same result, but a minus here and a minus there. Go ahead and try that and it'll end up being exactly the same. And that is how it's done.